Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Vivian. I am the business software coach. In today's video, we are going to share about Manage Inventory Buffer, one of the lean inventory managements. Well, in manufacturing, the concept of buffering is defined as maintaining enough supplies to keep operations running smoothly. Whereas for warehouse, it's referred to additional inventory keep on hand in case of emergencies delays or an unexpected increase in demand okay let's begin lean inventory management start with you and it must extend to everybody in your supply chain the supply chain is made out of all the key companies that help you move your products and services to your customers like suppliers distributors and retailers all of you should be working together to move inventory from one partner to the next just in time just as it is needed to meet customer demand you accomplish this by established strategy inventory buffer by keeping a certain amount of inventory on hand at each stage of the supply chain you set targets at each stage allowing just enough inventory to serve the next partner in the supply chain. Here are some examples of strategic buffer. A factory typically sets an inventory buffer for manufacturing lead time, which is the amount of time it takes to make the product. The buffer allows you to fill orders immediately when customers need products right away. If you have a long lead time, you must keep more buffer inventory because it will take a long time to replace those items. Your supplier will keep a strategy buffer to account for their own manufacturing lead time. A second type of inventory buffer is for material delivery time. If suppliers are located far from your factory, it takes longer to receive material. So your factory must keep a buffer inventory of supplies and material. This extra cost is usually offset by attaining a lower price from your global supplier. A third type of buffer is safety stock, which you might call just in case inventory. You want to maintain an extra buffer of finished goods in case customer order increase unexpected. You also want to maintain a little extra inventory of materials and supplies in case there is a problem with your suppliers or the delivery service. Each of these strategic buffers must be managed carefully using lean inventory tools to maintain them at the lowest level possible. You want to have enough buffer inventory to meet your goal, but you also want to control your cost. To help you maintain the right amount of buffer inventory, nothing is more important than information flow. Sharing information between your company and with your supply chain partner will help you ensure you are maintaining the right amount of inventory at all times. It is important to note that information has three distinct characteristics. First, there is velocity. Sometimes information moves quickly. Other times, it's rather slow. The second characteristic is volatility. Sometimes you get a lot of information. Sometimes no information at all. Third is accuracy. As we have all experienced, the information you receive can be right or wrong. Your objective is to maintain a smooth continuous flow of updated information about inventory throughout your supply chain. Inventory level, including strategic buffer, should be visible to everybody. If managed correctly, this strategy can be significantly improve your capabilities to continue to meet your customer's requirements. So, does your company use the strategic buffer approach? Make a visit to your factory receiving and the shipping departments. See how much inventory is there and talk to the supervisor about how it is being managed. Okay, that's end of my sharing for today's video. Once again, my name is Vivian. I am the business software coach who not only teaches theory but I also develop software to fit the need of the real world businesses. Please subscribe to my channels and hit the notifications bell or leave a comment if you learn something new from my video. This will definitely motivate me to make a video weekly like this to share with you guys, yeah? Okay, that's all for my sharing for today. 
and I see you in my next video.